Hi, this is Udi Tirosh with DIYphotography.net and today we're shooting a love story with a slider. Today we're shooting a love movie with a slider. We've asked photographer Adam Freemer to help us out. You might be wondering why we're using a slider for this production. Well, a slider adds a lot of production value to each film. Some of the other options, such as dolly, monopod, jib, are great options, but they lack in other fields, such as how stable you can be, or how long it takes to set up, or even if it's enough movement. The slider is a great way to combine all of those elements. I recommend it for every videographer because it's the perfect combination of stability, movement, and setup time. Today we're gonna to be using the Rhino slider for two specific reasons. Number one, it's one of the smoothest sliders that I've used to this day. Number two, we're going to be filming our story with the FS700. It's a very heavy video camera. Not every slider can handle it. Because this is a very heavy, sturdy aluminum build, we can trust that the FS700 won't bend the bars when it's going to the edges. Today's love story is a simple one. The classic love at first sight. I'm gonna walk you through how we did all of the shots with the slider. The first shot is a slide to focus. This is when the slider is perpendicular to the actor and the slider brings the camera into focus at the end point. That means that you start from one end and end in focus. For this particular shot, we decided that it would be easier to keep the focus if we were to do it in reverse. Therefore, the talent was asked to close her eyes as the camera left. This means when we play it in reverse, it would look totally in sync. For this next shot, the slider moves to a point where it's completely covered by white. This gives us a transition into the next scene. So the guy comes towards the camera. As the camera moves to white, it changes scenery to the girl. In this shot, our actors will meet. In order to do that, we decided we're going to track their movements using the slider. A good tip for using a slider to track movement is to start the slide before the talent reaches the frame. It makes more sense that if the actor is walking with the camera, that they both be moving around the same pace. In the next shot, we wanted to capture the connection between the actors. For this, we moved the slider to a tripod instead of on two light stands. Once the slider is on the tripod, we mounted a standard ball head onto the slider mount and we tilted it 90 degrees upwards. That way, we could use the slider as a up-down motion instead of the standard left-right motion. We tracked the movement of the actors coming up with the slider by taking the slider from the bottom to the top. As you can see, by this scene, they're already in love. We're using the slider to slide from left to right, just as we always do. At this point, we've taken off the light stance and we've mounted the slider directly on the floor by using the legs that Rhino has. Adam, thank you so much for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, we're not affiliated with Rhino Gear, but shooting with the slider has been nothing but the smoothest experience. If you need a slider, we definitely recommend it. We'll be seeing you around. <laughs>